All right, so we're going to talk about fuel cell, and we're going to go to the monthly chart. And what we can see is that for the better half of the last several years, price has been in a straight decline. And if you don't know how to read price action, you can just look at the moving average. In this case, this is the 13 simple monthly moving average. And originally, I, I had a resistance support band at the dollar mark and what do you know price came down in October hit that level and what do you know uh, <laughs> price came up to the $180 $1.80 level and hit that level and <laughs> uh, what do you know price finds itself back at uh, $1.25 um, so uh, they say you can't predict uh, the stock market but um, I think otherwise let's go to the weekly chart and you know uh, weekly chart is still showing uh, or was showing lower lows and lower highs um, and you know when price came back and hit this dollar uh, eighty level which was a previous support level um, it created its first um, higher high in uh, a very long time now before we continue with the analysis and look at things on the daily chart, let's look at this article as to potentially why price spiked and then dipped. And this dip could just be a pullback or a formation of a double bottom, um, which is a bullish reversal pattern. Um, all right, so let's go to the article. So it's it hasn't exactly been a good year uh, to start for fuel cell energy as shares of the company have shed 21% year to date bringing its year-over-year -year losses to 66%. Meanwhile, fuel cell has remained quiet with its last press release back in December uh, when it talked about its fourth quarter and 2023 full-year earnings. Now, During the fourth quarter, revenue fell by 43% year-over-year to $22.5 million from the $39.2 million. On the bright side, gross losses totaled $1.5 million compared to $15.2 million a year ago. While net losses per share improved to seven cents from eleven cents, for the full year revenue declined by five percent to one hundred and twenty-three point four million, while net loss improved to one hundred and eight point one million from the one hundred and forty-seven point two million. Now, the CEO and president, uh, Jason Few, stated that he was very pleased with the yearly results. However, shareholders seem to disagree, as the stock is down by over fifteen cents since the results were published. Now let's talk about the short squeeze, and maybe that was why we seen the um, spike up in, in price. Although I'm going to say it hit a major resistance support band at the dollar level. Short squeezes are a popular topic for declining stocks. Let's take a look at the metric behind the thesis for fuel cell stock. As of December 31st, there were a total of 83.59 million shares um, of the stock sold short, with a combined value of 134 million as of December. 29th fuel cell short interest as a percentage of the float tallied in about 18.56% up from the 5.58% month over the month. Generally a short interest of 10% is perceived as high while a short interest of 20% or greater is viewed as very high. So according to Fintel, fuel cell currently has a cost to borrow fee of 0.62% that's compared to the average CTV fee for a stock between 0.3 and 3%. As a result, it isn't that expensive right now to short sell fuel cell. Fuel cell stock commands a high short interest, although this data is presented with a lag. With the decline in the stock this year, short interest could be lower as short sellers take their profits. Furthermore, fuel cell TB B fee isn't that high which doesn't support the potential for a short squeeze all right so potentially uh, you know people will short the stock short the stock short the stock until again price hit that dollar level around whole psychological number and on the rebound um, shorts had to um, buy back their shares um, which probably aided to the in this case the potential pullback right all right taking it down to the daily chart and not only did price hit a key level at a dollar eighty, but it also hit this 200-day moving average, which serves as a dynamic uh, 
in this case resistance and typically when you are below the 200 day moving average you're in a secular bear market all right um, so I'm gonna take this arrow off as we you know we got the pullback right and um, since then price has declined um, again potentially forming a macro double bottom uh, when I look at the this reversal I don't see a huge volume until uh, this candle here and, and I also don't see huge volume on the down a decline this last leg down so uh, again price could be forming a bottom just kind of bringing it up to the uh, weekly chart you know what I would look for is some type of accumulation taking place and so we'll see this year should be very interesting uh, it is an election year uh, we do see liquidity coming into the stock market um, however we are going into recession so uh, but fuel cell along with the other companies in the EV space um, I think are all in this bottom and type pattern and I anticipate fuel cell being higher uh, before the end of the year thanks for watching subscribe please like the video